Welcome to uh, a demonstration of the Atom Calibration Framework. Uh, we are going to focus on the initial stage of the calibration procedure, which is the configuration of the calibration. Uh, first, whenever you have a, a robot, we are using MMTBot for example here, we should have most likely a, a robot name underscore description, which is where we have the chakra file for this robot. In ROS, this is how robots are represented. We have some meshes, we have some launch files if needed, and then we have a chakra file for the robot. Um, we uh, will create, so we can use Atom to create a new package, which is the name of the robot underscore calibration. I already have this package here created, but I'm going to create a new one just for uh, just for uh, the sake of demonstrating the system. So we can go inside calibration. And now we will do a ROS run, Atom calibration, create calibration package. And uh, so now we have to say the name of this calibration package. I will call it MMTBot calibration test. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we just run it like this. Okay, so minus n to say that it's the name. Right, yes. So, uh, what happened here was that a new ROS package was created, which is called uh, which is called MMTBot calibration test. Here it is, okay? And so this package contains uh, many folders, launch files, etc. And uh, we have to start with, as it says here, with changing the config.yaml file. So, if we go into the calibration and we take a look at this config.yaml, what we have here is a template for how we can, in Atom, define a given calibration. So, we have to specify many things. This takes a little bit of time. So, first we have a description file. In this case, we are going to use the description chakra that we have for the MMT bot. We use some back file. We define the world reference frame. Uh, and then we define a set of sensors. Okay, in this case, we'll, we would have a hand camera, some other camera, and so on and so forth. So we have to uh, fill in all this YAML file to specify what we want to calibrate, what is the pattern, what does the pattern look like, and so on and so forth. And in the end, after we do this, we have to run a calibration configuration. So I'm going to use the MMTBot calibration package that I already have, which I created just as I did right now for the test. And just because in this case, I already have a YAML file, which is properly configured. Okay. So here we are going to pick up the MMTBot chakra and so on and so forth. We have three sensors, the hand camera, the world camera, the 3D LiDAR, and so on. So after uh, writing down this config.yaml, so now I'm going to just go back here and uh, I can even uh, go to the calibration now into the MMT bot now into the MMT bot calibration oh, well I wouldn't I didn't need to be here configure so I just configure this uh, calibration and uh, this script will read the YAML file and make a lot of checks uh, of verifications and if all goes well, it will create automatically a set of launch files, which are here, which we can use to launch the second stage, which is the setting of initial estimates, the third stage, which is the collection of data, and then the final stage, which is the calibration. So we just have to launch these. These are all configured. Uh, this this uh, configuration of the calibration package did it. Um, also, we have something else which is quite interesting uh, for us to have a, an idea whether or not the calibration is well configured. We, uh, what happens is that when we configure this, com uh, we, when we configure the package, this uh, PDF file summary.pdf is created, and this PDF contains uh, a representation of the transformation tree. Okay, uh, so we start with a world link, then we have a table, then uh, a robot on the table, and then we have, for example, uh, here uh, a camera uh, which is connected to the end effector, and we are going to calibrate this link, okay? So this link is to be calibrated because for the hand camera, we specify that the parent link is the end effector and the child link is the hand camera link. So these two 
fields in the YAML file are the ones that specify which transformation uh, is going to be uh, estimated uh, during the calibration. Of course, we have some static transformations and also some dynamic. For example, those here that belong to the manipulator are dynamic. And then for the other senses, we have uh, also some, uh, some transformations to be calibrated. For example, suppose that I select uh, not this transformation from the tripod, tripod right support to the world camera, but for example, the one which is on top from the tripod plate to the tripod right support. I can do that, for example, for the world camera. I just go here and I duplicate this. Okay. Let me connect these two. And so I'm going to say that the parent is the tripod plate and that the child is the tripod uh, right support. Okay. So now I'm going to configure this again. So reconfigure the package. Oh, so we have a new calibration configured. Let's see if the PDF uh, changed accordingly. Okay, so now we have the transformation to be calibrated uh, from the plate to the right support as intended. So uh, this is what we need to do to configure the an atom calibration. Thank you for listening.